Hello students, today we will check homework. Um, we're going to learn data centers and your assignment will be 12.1. Today students will be able to find the mean, median, mode, range and some other information from some data. So imagine that we read a book every day. These are the amount of pages we read every day. Very, very, very repetitive. <laughs> um, let's say that we start on a Monday and then we only read during the week. So we have nine, 10 pages for the next day, 11, then 10, eight, 10, 11, nine, 11, 10, 10, 10, 23, and zero. So basically, if you notice, we read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 days. And we noted down the pages that we read, the number of pages that we read. So we're gonna learn how to find first the mean, the mean average. And the mean is when we add, when we add all the items and divide by the number of items, okay? We add all the items and divide by the number of items there are. Okay, for example, we're gonna add nine plus 10 plus 11, etc., etc., up until zero, and then divide by how many did we say? How many days did we read? 14, so divide by 14. And so, that means that to find the mean, I'm gonna add nine plus 10 plus 11 plus 10 plus eight plus 10 plus 11 plus nine plus 11, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 23, plus zero. We need to include that because that counts as one of the days. The day that I didn't feel well and that's why I didn't read. <laughs> um, and then divide by the 14 days. Notice that we include that one day. So I want you to pause it and add it. You can use a calculator if you want um, because I'm gonna give you the answer right now okay so if you want to try it pause the video first okay when i added all of these i got 133 divide by the 14 which is equals to 9.5 okay so my mean for this data is equals to 9.5 Now, people will say, oh, I always learn the mean, medium, and mode, and I always get them confused. So one of the tricks that I showed you is mean sounds like, like a mini, right? Like the mean person. So you can think of the mean, medium, and mode as mean being the meanest because it makes you do the most work. You have to add each item and then divide by 14, okay? It makes you work so much. So that's why it's so mean. The mean makes me work the most. Okay, so I'm gonna cover that and I'm gonna show you now the median. When I think about the median, I think of the middle brother. Okay, to have the middle brother, you have to, like if you want to find the middle brother, you need to put it in order, right? Uh, so write numbers in order. In order, from smallest to greatest, or from greatest to smallest, it doesn't matter. But usually they write it from smallest to greatest. And get the middle number. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite this data in order, because that's very important. If you don't do that, you're, it's not gonna work. So the smallest is zero. Then I have 
8. Then I have two nines. Two nines. Whoops. Then I have several tens. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six tens. Three, four, five, six. And then I have one, two, three elevens. And finally, I have 23. So to find the median, what I'm going to be doing is crossing one from each side because that way I'm going to get to the middle and find which one is exactly in the middle. One from the left, one from the right. 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 And uh-oh, I have two left instead of one. If it was one number, then that lonely number will be the median. But in here, because we have two numbers, I'm gonna have to add those two numbers and get their average. So since I'm adding two, I'm gonna divide by two. Okay, I, I get them, add them, and divide by two. So 10 plus 10 is 20, divided by two is equals to 10. Sometimes it's not gonna be, uh, in this case, both the numbers are the same, but sometimes you're gonna have an odd and an even, so you end up with decimal, or you might end up with two different numbers, and so you get um, something different, okay? But you have to add them and divide by two. So my median, is 10 okay so this will be my answer so again the mean is the meanest because you have to add all of that and then divide by the total number of items and the answer will be your mean the medium writer in order cancel the ones on the side and the one in the middle is your median, but if you have two, add them and divide by two to get the median, okay? And we have one other, which is the mode. Mode. Um, so mode is a, I think it's a French word for being fashionable. A la mode, it's a la mode. Um, and so it's the number that repeats the most. And in here, there are a couple of numbers that repeated, like nine repeated, 10 repeated, and 11 repeated. But the one that repeated the most was number 10 because it appears one, two, three, four, five, six. So my mode for this data is going to be 10, okay? It's the one that appears the most. It's the one that it's a la mode. So you go out in the street and if uh, some pants are a la mode, that means that you see it a lot, okay? A lot of people are gonna be wearing um, those pants, okay? Mean, the meanest, you have to add and divide. Medium, put them in order, and the one in the middle. Mode, the one that appears the most. Okay, the next one that I'm gonna show you is the range. And the range <clears throat> is just the difference between the largest minus the smallest. And sorry, but I don't have a trick to remember that one. It's just get the biggest number, subtract the smallest number, and the answer will be the range. So in here, the biggest one was 23 minus the smallest, which is zero. 
So my range is 23. Okay, so this will be my answer. It's easy, easy, right? Okay, now that we have learned this, um, I'm gonna ask you to plot this data on a number line and also to find some outliers. And so plot on a data, plot data on a number line. Whoops, that should be two, two words, not one. <laughs> and so basically what you're gonna do, let me see if this fits in here, maybe I, I can put that up. And what you're gonna do, um, oh my. It's a little crooked, but it's okay. So we're gonna put zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then I don't have after eleven I don't have many numbers. Um so I'm just gonna go ahead and break this line saying that meaning these two lines means that the line there are some numbers that are not included in the number line but there should be in there maybe i'll include 14 in here um, and then i'm going to go to maybe 22 23 and that's how much we need we don't really need to go farther than that um, why I don't want to write the, those numbers because we're not going to need them and I could have done that in here too since I don't need up until number eight okay so it says that I have one nine so when they ask you to plot on a number line th this is what they mean um, I have a nine I have a ten eleven another 10, 8, 10, 11, 9, 11, 10, 10, 10, 23, and 0. Okay? So, why do we want to plot data on a number line? It's just one way to visually see how my data is spread out and through what numbers. Um, another thing is that I want you to notice, which is gonna be helpful in the future for the next lesson, is uh, for you to observe that each one of these is individually represented with an X on the number line, okay? And I also told you to find any outliers. And so out, what are outliers? Outliers are numbers that are way off from the majority or the cluster of data points. And if you notice the 23, especially if this was uh, even more spread, your 23 will be like over here and then the zero are over like separate from most of the data. Okay, so the zero will be an outlier because it's away from the center data and 23 is also an outlier. And the word says itself, liar. <laughs> Why? Because it's not staying with what the main data is. Okay, so that's it for today's lesson and I hope you can understand it and now you can work on 12.1.